Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Waterworks, where last time out we took on the job of providing lots of lovely fresh clean water to all of the people in the medieval Polish city of Grujont, and it's been going okay. I think we did quite well last time, I'm very happy with how things have gone. So we started with very little, we started with just a pier and some people carrying buckets of water around the place, and that was okay when the town was relatively small, but time is passing, the town is growing, and then we've got extra bits and bobs now. We've got wells dotted around the place. We've got ourselves people with little water carts now so they can push the water around in a little cart. And of course, we've got ourselves the fancy water wagons pulled by horses that provide an awful lot of water. However, we still do have a slightly troublesome corner because this corner down here, we're going to call this Lazy Corner because these guys here who live in this bit of the town, they are complaining that they do not have access to enough water, yet they live nearest the river. So we're calling this corner lazy corner but we do need to sort this out because they are bringing us down a little bit they've got a sad face which means they're not happy with us but everything else is looking very nice indeed we've got an all right amount of income our influence is looking very very good and also we've got some bits and bobs that we can do right here as well let's just get this done now actually what was this oh this was us paying taxes this was us getting a scribe to go and do some paperwork. Do you know what, scribe? Yes, go and do that, please. So that gets us 20 influence. And yeah, that'll get us some money, actually. That'll get us some money, because when it goes over 100, we get paid some money, which is quite nice. So there we go. So we've paid our taxes, which is not the most exciting of things. But do you know what? It's done. It's a job out the way. And now we just need to carry on, just making sure that everybody's got lots of lovely water to drink. We do need to keep an eye, though. We need to turn this off occasionally and keep an eye on how things are developing in the town, because we spend so much time with that sort of overlay on that we're missing changes to all the buildings. Because, yeah, all the buildings are changing because time is passing and, you know, things are happening in the town of Grujont. I mean, these walls down here, these have certainly started appearing. So, yeah, they were these kind of, you know, sort of wooden walls, but they're developing into these sort of brick walls so that's quite nice so what were we building are we actually constructing something right yes we are constructing archives number two so we need to get ourselves a permit which we can drop in right now we've got one in there yeah okay we might as well put that one in why not there we go and then a scribe do we have a scribe up here in storage no we don't unfortunately we've got quite a lot of builders we've got an awful lot of builders up there in storage but uh but no scribes which is not great is it but Okay, never mind. So all of this lot, all of this might have to go to waste. Now we have got a water wheel and a bucket wheel. We're picking up parts of these things here, parts of waterworks, which is very interesting. We've got ourselves quarters three, warehouse three, stables two. Do you know what? I'd rather get these things in. A part of a waterwork. It sounds very exciting and I don't really know what it does. So we'll, um, we'll store that up there. Warehouse three. Do you know what? Do you know what? We can live without Warehouse 3 for now. Let's get rid of that and let's put Bucket Wheel up here as well. So we've got Bucket Wheel and Water Wheel, which are a part of a waterwork. Now, what that means exactly, I do not know, but we shall find out. So let's put the overlay back on for now. Um, right, we can't do anything with these. We can't do anything with these cards, which is a bit of a shame because they're probably quite useful. But do you know what? Never mind. Right, we'll end our turn. We get paid our monies. And we're going up to, what, turn 52 we're in now. Right, somebody moved in over there. That's absolutely fine. And we have one card left in our hand, and it's just a permit card, which we cannot do anything with at all. Now, that's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Because we're trying to upgrade the archives. And if we had a scribe, we could actually store this away, because then we could put that in our upgraded archive. But, uh, but unfortunately, no, we can't do anything with it. So let's end the turn again. Big pile of money coming our way. Influence going over 100, which means we get even more of the lovely monies. Right, here we go. The hand is going to be shuffled. What are we going to get? Please give us a scribe. Yes. Okay, right. Get this done immediately. Right. One scribe into there. Yes, please. 10 of each, so 10 money and 10 influence to get this done. There we go. We have some fancy upgraded archives. Okay, so what does this say then? You can now store up to eight document cards. It also, uh, sorry, this construction also granted you, aside from new donations and gifts, access to construction plans of a waterwork structure and irrigation plans. Oh, irrigation plans. And yeah, we've kind of got parts of the waterwork structure already done. We've got bucket wheel and water wheel, which I would like to get done. I'd like to get one of these done. Can we, can we start working on this? Just a, hang on, no, maybe the water wheel would be the sensible option. Let's get a water wheel done, because I want to know what that means. Right, building materials, we must have some of those. Right, spend a bit of money on that, and then 
I mean, we've got a builder just there, so we might as well do that. I bet we've got a craftsman in, if I press the right button, over there in the quarters. We haven't kept the craftsman in the warehouse. That would be not good. That there, have we got a foreman? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. It's the pointy man just there doing lots of important pointing. Yeah, so deploy you. And then this will cost us 10 money to actually get this done. But okay, so a water wheel, the main driving element of the water work. The undershot wheel is powered by water flowing directly under the wheel. It can be connected using a gear to another mechanism, for example, a bucket wheel, which is the other card we have. Okay, so we've got ourselves a bit of a water wheel constructed. You can have a water wheel that can propel something. The only question is, what would it be? I mean, it's a very good question. It's a tremendous question. Uh, right, let's store those cards pop them up into the store and we can't do anything else so right let's go to the next turn so we shall see what is happening is anything happening in terms of oh no that corn has not gone well oh no and now there's a fire as well oh my goodness right okay water cart on there right we've got three sad three sad people now and yeah that's not good that's not good at all um what does that do a small donation the document, this document grants you 20 gold when played. Oh, it costs us 20 influence, but it gets us 20 gold. Okay, well, I don't see any issues with that right now. We've got an okay amount of influence, and then we can do it again, but it's for 10. Yeah, okay, we'll do that again. And then a small gift costs us 10 to get, what do we get? 10 influence back. I mean, that's a little bit pointless that we just sort of undo what we just did. That would be a big waste of time. Okay, so we can't do anything else right now. Do we want to get, what's that? That needs a bucket's wheel. Hang on, hang on. We have one of those just there. Let's try and get one of these in then. So building materials, foreman, builder, and craftsman. Okay, well, there's a builder just there. We've got a craftsman in here, I imagine. There's a craftsman. Then we need building materials, plenty of those. The only thing is, I don't think we have a foreman. No, that is unfortunate. Okay, never mind. Never mind, we can't do anything with that. And we'll keep water work up in our lovely upgraded archive. Okay, now the only thing is we're not really getting very many water cards appearing. We're not getting water cards and, and water wagons and all that kind of stuff. We do need some of those sooner rather than later. Right, what if we moved you to just there? Okay, that still creates three sad people, but just in a slightly different place to where they were before. Oh, good. What if we moved you to there? Yeah, it's, it's still three sad people. Yeah, okay, never mind. We can't really do anything about it. We need more sort of little water carts or water wagons or whatever. We just need more of those cards. If we could get one of those, that would be really good. No, no, unfortunately not. Um, a water wheel powers machinery. Ah, we want to keep that. Thank you very much. Um, we will spend 10 of our influence on getting 10 money because money is useful. Thank you very much. Irrigation plans used in constructions removed from the game after use okay we'll have that and we'll archive away the next level of archive i suppose uh town uh small gift sorry don't care no we're not going to use that okay right next turn can we please have some like water carriers or something because you know that would be quite useful that would be really handy right now if we could get that in and no water carriers okay we'll pop the scribe into storage we will get 10 more money from our influence because we might as well try and make the most of it. And we'll take a permit and another permit. And again, we can't do anything with our water problems. We've just not got the cards coming in. So yeah, we're losing all sorts of influence over there. We're still getting a positive amount. We're still getting plus six. But yeah, this is not helping at all. Okay, right. We have the foreman. Let's drop you in there. 10 money to complete this. Uh, yeah, okay, bucket wheel. So a wheel with wooden buckets attached to it. This wheel can be powered by a water wheel with a gear. The buckets set in motion bring water from the canal and bring it up to the distribution tank on top of the building. Okay, so now we've got ourselves a bucket wheel. However, it's useless without any water wheel powering it. Okay, so now, what do we do now then? Was there a thing that we could build in here? Ah, the water wheel. Powers machinery used in constructions removed from the game after use. No, okay, so it's not it's not that. It's not an item we drag on and then build. It must be something else. Water work. Is it that? Is it this thing here? Are we supposed to then go forth and build this? Oh, ah, yes. Bucket wheel, water wheel, permit. Okay, right, drop the permit in, because we might as well. Get the building materials in, because that makes sense. And then, yes, we've got these two things now, haven't we? So we've got ourselves, oh no, where were they? They're in here, they're in here. 
We've got the water wheel. We haven't seen the bucket wheel yet come out. Okay, that's fine. And then we've got ourselves some builders. There are only three, so we can deploy some of those. That's very nice. Uh, we've got a foreman just there. Deploy you. And two craftsmen. Have we got some craftsmen? Yes, we have. So there's one there, and there's one at the bottom. Okay, so now common gift is 20 money to get some influence. Not bothered about that. I think that's all we can do. I think that's all we can do. I suspect that's the next big thing that we need. Right, okay. Go to the next turn. Let's hope that the people move in into a suitable place. And no, they've moved in into a terrible place. But we have the buckets wheel. Okay, we've got just enough money to get this done. However, we do not have enough money now. This is unfortunate. So we're going to have to wait until next turn to get the water work done. So what is this going to give us? Water work is a device that raises the water to a certain height, enabling gravitational supply to the water pipe network in the city. Do we have a water pipe network in the city? The water is lifted to a distribution tank located on top of a tall building. From there, it is then distributed by wooden pipes to municipal water wells, so-called sumps. Sumps are most often built on main streets and city squares. The population gain will go up by one, but then we start getting pipes and sumps. Okay, that's going to have to be the next big thing. However, we can't build it right now, unfortunately. Right, hold on, everybody. Hold on. Go and borrow some water from your neighbours or whatever. Apart from you guys in Lazy Corner who can just, you know, walk around the corner to get some water. But that's fine. Right, here we go. Let's get this done. We've got enough money just to finish the water work. Oh, my goodness me. The city is being all equipped into grids. Okay. Okay, so this looks like a little bit of history, which is quite nice. You know, it's educational as well as a strategic sort of game. So, well, yeah, it says the permission for the construction of the first waterwork in Grugeons was issued by the Grand Master of the Teutonic Order, Michael Koschmeister, possibly, in 1415. In the permit, the order approved the constructing of a special building that had a device equipped with a water wheel, which would draw water from the channel by the city and then lift it to a sufficient height in order to distribute it through pipelines around the city. If the waterwork in Grugeons was actually built in the 15th century, which is very likely, it definitely already existed at the beginning of the 16th century, then it would be the oldest device of this type in the Teutonic state, and after 1466, one of the oldest in the Polish kingdom. Okay, so this is quite a revolutionary bit of kit. Okay, so now what do we do? You've constructed the waterwork. This marks the beginning of the pipe-based water supply system. You'll have to lay pipes along the streets and water sumps wherever you want to increase the water supply. Click the pipe button to show the, the pipes and sump view. Oh, so now we have ourselves a pipe view. Okay, so we've got region one, region two, region three, and region four. No pipes for now, but you can see the entry point for them here. So that is where all of the pipes are going to come in. They're all going to start here. All the water is pouring down here, going down this little sort of wooden ramp type thing over to here. Notice the colors and numbers on the ground. The further they are from the water source, the less efficient the system is. So one, two, three, and four. Right, so because the, the water's got to travel quite a way to get over here, it's quite hard to do that. So it's going to become less effective as it goes over to zone one. Okay, click the pipe button again to hide the view. Okay, so now we're going to start unlocking pipe cards, are we? Is that what's going to happen? Now, this is quite good because this, this, this end here, this end where we're struggling, is the end nearest to our wonderful little sort of water wheel device. So we could sort everything out on this end. And then when all these buildings are nice and supplied with lovely you know, running water, I would say fancy pants running water... I would say we could move some of the water carts and stuff over here to make sure these guys are okay. Okay, right, this is all good, right? We need to do this because we have no money. So we'll do a small donation. Thank you very much. We'll do a small donation. Thank you very much. And then we'll store that. We'll store you. And we've got room to store a permit as well. Okay, we're not building anything right now. Okay, so end of turn. Now, are we going to get pipes and sumps now? This could be very intriguing in, oh, that's all sorts of terrible. Okay. We have a pipe. Do you know what? Increase in funding plus one per turn. We'll take that immediately. Thank you very much. That is very good. Yeah, our influence is coming down, which is, uh, that's not the best. That's not the best thing. However, we do have a pipe. So we could put a pipe just there. I think that's probably a very good idea. The only thing is, yes, now we've got a pipe in place, but we don't have a, a sump. We haven't got a sort of an outlet. So the, there's water going through the wooden pipe, but no one can get at it. It's just pouring into the ground. Um, okay. Common donation. Yeah, I quite like that, but we're losing influence. We do not want to lose all our influence. 
a workshop, a water power workshop for crafting tools. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, do we want to start building something? Do we want to start building something? We can't build the quarters, we can't build the archive, and we can't build the stables. Okay, but we can build the workshop. Do you know what? Okay, let's pop the workshop in. What do we need from this? So building materials, yep, pop them onto just there. And we've got a permit, I'm pretty sure, over in there. So drop that in. And then we haven't got much money left. Do you know what? We'll save the money. We'll go to... In fact, we'll keep that. And don't care about that. So, right. Next turn, please give us a sump or some pipes. Or, or something useful to do with providing water to people. Because we seem to be getting lots of other things. But not water provisioning. Oh my goodness me. Right. A sump. Needs a pipe connection. Provides water to adjacent blocks. X depends on the distance and the water work level. Okay, so we want to get this. We want to put this here, and that's going to give plus four water to each of those blocks there, which is completely brilliant. So that's going to drop in. Oh my goodness me. That has sorted that out quite nicely indeed. Okay, now we kind of need to come down this way. We need to get another sump. Oh, actually, we can't put a sump. Can we put one there next to the well? Or does is a sump a well? I'm not entirely sure. When if we bring the pipe down that way, and then we can bring it down this way as well, because we need to create it here, really, but I don't know if we can. That's the only thing. I assume we can create a sump wherever these little sort of these little sort of water drop icons are. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, there's one there. So we can have a sump next to a well. So we'll drop that in, and then we've got, yeah, we've got enough money to put this in. So can we then drop one of those in? Oh, botherations no we cannot because there's a well just there okay okay never mind we need another pipe i think then we're gonna need another pipe to come down here to then sort that out oh that's just not good is it that's unfortunate so we've still got four grumpy people what happens if we move you over to there ah we're down to three grumpy people well three grumpy blocks of people okay that's not as bad as it could be what if we move you over oh that's terrible that's still, that's five, that's three, that's four, that's four. Yeah, we're not going to get any better than three, I do not think. Okay, do you know what though? We'll keep the sump, that's good. We'll keep the builder. Warehouse three, we can't build it, so okay, right. Skip to next turn, plus eight influence. Influence is going up, which is always very encouraging. Oh, that's not good. Progress report, oh good. <laughs> Send two scribes. Um, I mean, we can do that right now. Do you know what? Let's just get that done. Get that done. Yes, please. Gives us some influence. That's quite good. Right. Another pipe. Okay. Put a pipe just there and then go up here. Nope. Go to the right place. Go to the warehouse. Grab the sump and put the sump just there. Ah, right. There we go. So that sorted that out. But now these guys up here are still miserable again because now they've only got... Oh, have we taken away their only source of water? I'm not, not taking it away, but you know, they were getting sort of uh, serviced by water cards and now they're not. Oh, hang on a minute. That's not very good, is it? Let's put that over there. Right, that's covered that side. So now these guys are a bit grumpy. The only thing is, they're going to be really hard to sort out with these water sump things. It's not going to make much difference by the time the pipes get all the way over there. Yeah, that's not great, is it? Okay, do you want a foreman or a craftsman? Um, a craftsman is going to be useful to store away. Okay, good stuff. Right, let's go to the next turn. These guys are going to bring the mood down a little bit, but overall, it's going up quite nicely. Right, they still got water provision, which is good. Um, a small donation. Uh, yeah, do you know what? We'll go for that. We'll spend some influence, get a bit of money. That's quite nice. A water cart. Oh, happy days indeed. Okay, if we put one of you there, so put a water cart just there, and then move that water cart to up there... That's still not enough water. How much water do you people drink? My goodness. Okay. Right. So now I've just got one kind of unhappy bunch rather than many. Okay. They're on maximum though. Yeah. They're on seven out of seven. So they're happy, but one person moving in and th oh, three people are moving in now. Okay. Uh, what do we want to keep? Don't care about that. Builder and a craftsman. No, we're good. What do we need in here? Can we actually get the workshop done? Uh, we could do. We could do. Get the builder in. Get the craftsman in. And up here, get the foreman in. So I don't think we can afford to build it. Yeah, we're one gold short. Okay, never mind. Right. End the turn. 
So let's go to next turn. Then we can finish building our workshop, which hopefully might have lots of useful tools in it to make things a bit better. Oh no, <laughs> there's another fire. Okay, right, grab that, put that down there. Those ones in the corner are all miserable again. Oh my goodness me. Okay, okay, right. We need another pipe going to just there, and then we need to put a sump just there to keep those guys up there happy. There we go. There's loads of sumps down this end. Okay, these guys are still not happy. We'll keep that sump, and we'll keep building materials, and we'll keep the scribe, and then let's get this done. So the workshop, a room filled with tools and repair equipment, will surely be useful. Finishing this construction will give you access to a large amount of pipes and sumps. It will also allow you to upgrade your water work. Oh, can we make it better? Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah, we commence that thing. New cards are in our deck. A new plan of the new water wheel. Okay, right, that sounds very encouraging. Okay, so flying through, money is going up, all right. Influence is looking quite good, you know, given we've got some sad people. And now we've just got loads and loads of pipes and sumps. Okay, okay, this is good. What have we got in there? One sump and no pipes. Okay, where do we want to try and build out toward? I think maybe just there might be quite good. And if we can put a sump just there to provide a bit more water to those neighbouring areas and then get another pipe just here and put another sump just there. Not enough coins. Oh no, we've got entirely no money. Do you know what? Keep the sump. Don't care about the small gift. Go to the next turn. That should give us enough money and the influence is topping our money up quite nicely. And there we go. Look, some more people moved in there, but now they've got loads of sumps around them. That means that they do not worry so much right now. An overshot wheel. An idea to increase the water wheel's efficiency. Okay, so foreman, builder, craftsman, building materials. Um, Yeah, okay. Let's get that in. Let's get this working. The only thing is, we've got two bits of pipe here and we can only store one of them. So we do need to lay one of these bits out. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, do we go across the top just there? Go across the top and go across the bottom here with these two pipes. So have one just there and then have one up there. The idea being to try and get loads of sumps around this area so they can provide loads of water down this end so they can go and get their water from the sumps and then we can start moving the water carts over here where they might be a little bit more required. Yeah, what if we move the water wagon? No, let's not move the water wagon. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Stay there, water wagon. Everything went all sorts of terrible there. Okay, so we've got a bit of money. They moved into a good place. We could just do with another, just one more water carrier. Just, just one more would be lovely. No, no water carriers. Okay. Um, okay, right, go into here. We're gonna need, we're gonna need a foreman. Okay, so we can drop you in. That's all fine. And then we need to go to here, we need a builder. So drop a builder in. And we've got another builder, drop another builder in. And then I think we can probably deploy the building materials and that's gonna be it. Yeah, okay, so that's all we can do. We can't store, oh, we've got permits up here. Oh, we've got loads of permits. Oh, do you know what, let's do that. Let's do our donation card. Then we'll drop the permit back up into there. And then we'll keep the craftsman card. And then what do we need? Just a craftsman, we've got 23 money. Okay, yes, get this done, actually. There you go, Craftsman. You've been immediately deployed. The overshot water wheel can now be complete. What is it? It's powered by water falling on it from a suitable height, filling the troughs located on its peripheries. I love the word peripheries. Very good word. And thus rotating the wheel. It is three times more efficient than the undershot wheel that we currently use. The use of an overshot wheel requires additional engineering work. Construction of artificial barriers, weirs, ponds, as well as gutters supplying water over the wheel. Oh, good. So it's not as simple as just going, boom, we've done a thing. We now need to do some more stuff. Okay. So the overshot water wheel has been completed. Now you may begin preparations to modernize your water work. Okay. How would one go about doing that? I'm not entirely sure how that kind of thing happens. Okay. Next turn. Let's see what happens next time because now it's all getting quite complicated. Okay. More people moving in. Everyone down this end is fine. War. A war has broken out. Oh, no. Okay, right, so we've got war, which never changes. Fill all the empty slots with worker cards of any kind to complete this request within the time limit or face the consequences. Workers already in town can't be used here. You'd have to use the selling mode first. 
Work is already in town. Oh, I see. Right. Work is already actually working and doing stuff. But we can deploy all the people in here. Yeah, so war's broken out and we must get our workers over there. Okay. I mean, we've got ourselves quite a number of... There's some builders in here and they're cheaper to deploy. There are only three to actually get sort of deployed. So we'll put a couple of them in and then... that That's the wrong button. There we go. Um, we could put a scribe in. In fact, we could just put that scribe in from down there. So there's a scribe. And then we could deploy... I don't want to get rid of our last builder. Because then we're going to need a builder at some point, aren't we? So, okay, let's not do that. Um, we've got six turns to sort this. You get a bit of money and a bit of influence for it. But it's that's a bit annoying. That's a bit annoying. Oh, you pesky war. Right, we have the overshot wheel. Okay, so let's put that into storage. Uh, permit, can't store it. Form, and we'll put in storage. Small gift, not so bothered. Okay, right. Go to next turn. Please go into good places, more people. Please move into nice places. Oh, no, they've moved it into terrible places. Okay, a water cart. Okay, I mean, it's not going to solve every problem. It's not going to solve every problem, but it's going to be very useful. So let's pop that one into there. And then can we move that one up? Okay, so yeah, this place now doesn't have enough, but it's only one place now. Okay, right. Happy with that small donation. That gives us some money for our influence. That's very nice. Pop the foreman into storage. Right, okay. We need to put another person back into here. Uh, how about a scribe? Let's get a scribe going to war. There we go. <laughs> when two scribes go to war. Okay, it's all good. There we go. So we've got ourselves 20 money and 10 influence. And there we go. So yeah, well, that's quite nice. By doing so, you've earned trust among high-ranking citizens. Okay, that's quite good. Right, we'll store the building materials. Don't care about the gift. Nothing else we can do. Flying on now. We're absolutely flying through the turns. Right, where are these people going to move to? Okay, not ideal going just there. Water work to increase efficiency. Yes, here we go. We've got quite a lot of money as well. Right, overshot wheel. That can go in right now. There it is. And we can put ourselves a permit in as well. And we have building materials just here. So just get some of the basics in. Then we've got a builder. And what else do we need? A craftsman. Drop these in from here. Okay, this is pretty good. Small donation. That gives us some more money. We might be able to get this not entirely done because we probably can't afford to do the final sort of bit. But right, we need a foreman. Ah, and now... I know we've got a builder. We've got a builder. Oh, we need another builder. We sent quite a lot of builders off to go and have a bit of a war. Okay, right, never mind. Right, so pop the scribe back up there. And I think that's all we can do. We can't do anything else right now, unfortunately. Okay, do you know what? Go to next turn. Let's actually come off this actually next time as well. Let's have a look at what's going on. Because, look, all of the walls, it looks like, around the front here anyway, are now the fancy brick walls. That wall is slowly being updated to the new sort of brick walls. That's the old wooden wall. Um, right, we'll do that. Give us some money. Thank you very much. And pop this into here. A builder. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah, let's get this done. 20 money. We've got 34. Yes. Oh, it's providing more water. It's providing more water. Oh, look at it. That's very exciting. That's huge. That's all very fancy pants. Okay. So the upgraded waterwork added greater pressure to the water pipes, allowing the water to reach further than before. Thanks to this, people will be able to draw more water from the existing sumps, as well as any future sumps that you're going to build. Okay. This end is looking absolutely fine. From being really terrible, over there looks really good now. So, have we got some pipes? No. We've got a couple of sumps, but no pipes. Is it worth dropping a sump in just here? Just to kind of provide a bit more water provisioning for that area. And then it'd be nice if we could put some sumps in here and here. We'd need quite a few pipes, however. Um, okay, keep the builder, keep the materials, keep the craftsman. Next turn, please. Flying through them, in comes money. In comes a bit more influence. Right, the people have moved in. Yeah, we need to get something in the middle here. Right, we have some pipes. That's quite nice. Let's just take a quick look at the town. Oh, oh, look at this. Right, yeah, they've been paving all the roads. So now all the roads are paved. And now everything just looks, it's very colourful. It looks lovely round. And they've got the sort of, you know, the, I don't know what that is. But yeah, I would associate it with sort of Tudor style buildings. Although I know, you know we're in Poland, so it's not that. But yeah, got the nice sort of white walls with the sort of cross beam type things on it. Okay, that looks very nice. I mean, yeah, we kind of have to have this on because otherwise we have no idea what's going on. But that looks very lovely. It looks very nice. Right, we have ourselves some pipes. We could get these in a chain lift. Plans to replace the bucket wheel with a chain lift. 
Okay, that sounds very exciting. Right, let's try and get some pipes coming along here. So if we have a pipe, which is good, and then another pipe just here, and then we pop a sump just here, that will deal with quite a few extra bits of water over here. Right, that sorted those miserable people out. We will keep that extra sump. I think we've got quite a few. Yeah, we've got two sumps now. Uh, I can't do anything else. So let us go to the next turn. Still not happy with these three red ones. Over there is looking completely brilliant, however, now. And taxes. Yay. Yay for taxes. We just helped the war effort. Sure you can let us off some taxes for a bit. My goodness. Okay. 26 money. Right. Let's see if we can get ourselves. Can we do this over here? I kind of want to get down here. Even if we have a sump over here, at least it's three extra bits of water that's being provided. So get a pipe in. Get another pipe in. And let's pop a sump just there which I know isn't going to massively solve everything, but it's got rid of one of our sort of red buildings right there. And an increase in funding. Yeah, we'll have that. Might as well take that. Bit of money coming in. Right. End of our turn. Let's not forget that we've got to, you know, do our taxes. <laughs> fill in the right forms and all that sort of stuff. Oh, we've just sorted that out and it's gone back to red again. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Um, small donation. Bit of money, please. Thank you. And then we need a scribe. Have we got a scribe? Yes, we have. There we go. Right. Splendid. Thank you very much. And now what do we want to do? Put the builder up there. Craftsman up there. Builder up there. Store them away. And end our turn. We need to sort out this end. We need to get some pipes running along here as well. Well, there is a well just there. Which is unfortunate. Oh, look. That bit has changed now. This bit of wall section is now lovely and updated. Uh, some more donation. Give us some money, please. Thank you. Right, building materials we will store. And what can we actually build now? We can build the chain lift. That's going to be the next big project. Okay, chain lift it is. Let's get that looking good. Form and builders, building materials. Okay, building materials. Chuck them in. Um, does it need a scribe? No, we need a builder though. So we'll pop a builder into there. And it needs another builder. So like that. And a craftsman. Oh, we need a foreman. So there we go. It needs one craftsman. Okay. So we can't actually finish this off because we haven't got the money to complete it, but we've got all the sort of requisite parts in. So a special, more efficient and durable mechanism with two smaller wheels, a lower and upper, connected by a chain to which buckets are attached. Yeah, this is all very clever, isn't it? This is very clever stuff. I'm glad there's other people sort of doing the inventing stuff and we just kind of get to deploy it once it's been invented. Okay, and we'll pop the scribe up into storage and warehouse three... Do you know what? We'll put it into storage for now and we'll keep it. And if we need to get rid of it, then we will do. Still looking very colourful, Groot John's looking very nice. Okay. Oh, look, things are at It's um, yeah, changing the bridge as well. And the little sort of house here. That's now made of bricks. Oh, no, not a fire. This isn't good at all. Okay, those guys there can probably not deal with a lack of water. Okay. Okay, this is, <laughs> this is all going quite badly. Um, we need to get... We need to get another sort of uh, big water wagon thing in. We could do with deploying. Hang on. What if we deploy the water wagon to... Nope. That's that's a terrible idea. What does that leave us with? That leaves us with... Oh, no. Where is that? The water wagon is... Where is that deployed? Here. Okay. So we've currently got one, two, three, five places that are bad. That's now six places that are bad. That's six places. Yeah, that's back down to five places. Well, we could do that. That's loads of places that are struggling. Yeah, that's the best place for it. That's the best place for it, unfortunately. Right, let's try and get some more water through. Let's get this chain bucket lift thingamajigger done. Okay, so we now have chain buckets. You can prepare it for the next modernization of the waterwork system. I am sure we can. Like, we've not got much room up here. Let's get ourselves a couple of foremen. I think we've got some builders in here. We've got one builder. Two builders. Yeah, okay, so let's get... The builders are more common than foremen. Let's do that. And then in terms of permits, we don't need to get another permit. We can't do anything with those. Okay. Next turn, our influence is only creeping up by five because we do have some very grumpy people right now. It's still on plus five, however, which is quite nice. Um, okay. Building materials we will store. However, builder and craftsman, we can't do anything with. So this is all a little bit kind of rubbish, isn't it? But okay. Okay. Away with it. Let's see what happens next. Please put the new people into decent places that have already got loads of water. Yay! Thank you, game. Okay. 
There's the chain lift. Right, donation. We'll take a bit of money. Thank you. Right, we need to get rid of something out of here. Joe, you know what? A small gift can go away and we'll put the chain lift into there. Okay, we have got a sump. Is there anywhere we could put a sump? Um, Just there. I know we kind of need it down here. We sort of need it here. That would help things quite a lot. But yeah, we haven't got the... um. We haven't got the pipes for it, unfortunately. Um, have we connected... Hang on. Have we connected that bit up with a sump? No, we haven't, unfortunately. Yeah, we need more pipes. Can we have some more pipes, please, people that run the city? That would be really handy. Um, no, all of our things are full. All of our things are full. We are getting quite a lot of money, though. We're now getting quite a lot of money. Our influence is holding at plus five. Uh, a small donation. Yes, please. Waterwork three. Yes, make it happen. Make it happen right now. Okay, chain lift. We can pop that in. Building materials. We can pop those in. Permits. We've got loads of those. Permits coming out of our ears. And then we need to get the people in. So get a foreman. Get a builder. Get a possible another builder. Another builder and a craftsman. Okay, so craftsman onto there. And another builder. Oh, this is this is wonderful. And we can actually complete this. Okay, yeah, make it happen. Okay, it's providing even more water. Another upgrade of water work added. Even greater pressure to the water pipes, allowing the water to reach even further than before. Thanks to this, people can draw more water from sumps. Okay, how is that looking? Yeah, it's now down to three slightly grumpy people. Okay. That is very good. This thing now looks huge and massively complicated, but this is good. This is good for us. Money piles in, plus 10 influence now, which is encouraging. That's gone to some decent places. And we have some more pipes. Okay, increase in funding. Absolutely have that. What is a trinker channel? Advance to a new era. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do that. Let's have ourselves a trinker channel. Oh my goodness me. Right, there's all sorts of things required for that. However... We have got a pipe. We can't do a pipe and a sump, but we could look at maybe getting some pipes in over this way. Try and get this connected up to a to a sump. That'd be quite good. Um, hang on, that's a pipe going right through the middle. Could we just go there? So just drop that pipe in, and then we could put a sump there next time. Um, and do you know what? We'll keep them both. Keep the sump cards. Why not? I like the fact that you can sort of store them away. That's quite a nice feature. And you've got a certain, you know, finite amount that you can store away, which makes you think about the ones that you actually do want to, you know, get rid of and stuff. Ah ha This is very encouraging. Okay, so let's put one pipe. Yeah, we can't put a sump. Hang on, we can't put a sump just there. Let me pop, pop that down there. Hang on, can we look at the pipe view? There we go. So I think we definitely want to put, let's go and do that now, actually. So one sump just here, please. How is that going to affect that? That looks wonderful. Okay, now this bit over here hasn't got access, but yeah, we're going to struggle. We need to put a pipe and a pipe, I think. So a pipe there. We can't put a sump there. Then a pipe there. They've only got 10 water for nine people. Is there any sort of one clear? They're four clear. They're on the nose, though. There's 10 water for 10 people. That could go wrong quite soon. But I think we need to go pipe and pipe and put a sump up there. I think that's what we need to do. We need to sort of work our way up a little bit. So, right, so do that and do that. And then another pipe at some other point. We haven't got one in storage, have we? No, unfortunately not. And then put a sump up there. That's what we need to do, I think. Okay, yep, okay. We'll try and work on it. We'll see if that's a, a plausible thing or not. I do not know. Okay, so in comes some more people. Oh, it's gone back to red over this side. Lazy corner is still being lazy. Okay. Donations, we'll take some money, thank you. Donations, we'll take some money, thank you, because we're not using the influence for anything else. Um, gift, gift. Builder, we'll store the builder away next turn. Please, can't do anything. And then we need to look at getting this next thing complete, actually. I completely forgot about that, but you know what? We've saved some money, so that's good. Yeah, we need a pipe, ideally. Okay, let's go into here. So, building materials, yay. There's a water cart. Oh, precious water cart. We don't see them very often. Okay, craftsman, builder. Right, we want to make sure we deploy the water cart. So let's put the water cart over here for now. Oh, yes. 
Oh, lazy corner, are you happy? I mean, these guys over here that live really far away from the water, they're all a bit thirsty, but as long as you guys, as long as you guys who live, you know, pretty much next to a river, as long as you guys get some water delivered to your house, you know, it's all fine. Well done, you. Okay, let's go into here. What else do we need? Digging tools. We had some of those. Let's deploy those. They're quite expensive. And then let's do the building materials as well. Can we do anything else? Um, we could do, we could do a permit. We've got plenty of those. Right, we'll drop a permit in. Then we'll go to the next turn. Plus 17 influence. That's looking very handy. Money comes in. They were people moving in that maintained everything, being all sorts of happy and stuff. Right. Okay, so a foreman. Yes, please. And then irrigation plans. We can't do right now, but we will chuck all these other things into storage, which is quite nice. Yeah, we need 20 money for irrigation plans. And then we need 40 money to actually just finish this thing off. So we're going to have to save up, I think. We're going to need 60 of your monies. So there we go. We're getting a little bit extra from our influence going over 100, which is quite nice. Okay, so small donation. Yes, please. Have a bit of free money. Thank you. Right, store the foreman. Have we got a scribe in there as well? Scribe, scribe, scribe. Plenty of scribes. Okay. Um, build the material, store that. And then end the turn. So here we go. We've got we've got 60 exactly. And then, oh, it's crept up to 63. Those people have moved into good places. A misplaced shipment. Okay, what do we need to do here? You've been contacted by someone from the castle. Apparently there's been a mix of shipments as some items are missing from the castle's storage. What items, you ask? It doesn't matter, as long as the numbers look right in their register. Sending them anything will probably do better than trying to find an explanation. There's only one catch. You have to pay for the delivery. If you fail, someone will probably charge you with the real cost of the missing items. So there's nothing in this for us. We don't get anything positive. We just do not get hit by this huge penalty. Oh, good. Isn't this fun? Well, do you know what? You can have a small gift because yeah, we're nice like that. Um, right, chuck that in because that's quite good. And have we got anything in? No, not in there. Have we got anything in here that we could spare? Not really. There's quite a lot of turns for that. We'll see if those other sort of uh, blue items pop up, like the necklaces and the rings and stuff, because we don't really want to get rid of these things, because they are useful. Okay, and yeah, we need to get the irrigation plans in. They were in here, so pop that into there, and now we're done. Let's do this. Oh my goodness, we, we've built the Trinker Canal. Oh, this is very exciting. Okay, well, there we go. So we built a fancy canal. It looks very nice. Okay, so this was actually quite a technological marvel at the time. So in the year 1552, the Trinker Canal was built and the length of the canal was 8 kilometres and its maximum width was 10 metres. I mean, that's quite big. That's quite big. And the idea was it was supposed to provide huge amounts of water to Grugeons. That's the whole point of it. So yes, at the time, it was the most important and largest hydrotechnical investment carried out in Grugeons. Okay, very good. So now we're in a different era. I imagine we're going to get a whole load of other extra cards now. We're going to get more improvement cards and more this and that and the other. Ah, we can start upgrading these things, quarters and archives and warehouses and stables and what have you. Um, okay, what do we want to do? Stables. Stables too. It lets us buy one more water wagon. It's hugely important. Can we have that, please? Right, we can't add anything to it right now, but that's going to be quite handy. A town sigil. I think we've seen those yet, have we? That must be a new thing. That must be a new thing. Um, okay, we can't store any of these. Oh, we could deploy a builder, actually. We've got just enough gold to get a builder sorted. Okay, there we go. Right, pop to the next turn. So what are we going to get to? Is it going to go to turn 86 or is are we on turn 86? Yeah, there we go. So turn 87 we've gone up to. Right, town sigil. That's all of our gold to get that deployed. Okay, fine. That's okay. Water work four. Water work four. What do we need for that? Water pumps, water tower, and a permit. Do you know what? We'll store it. Absolutely. Uh, we'll store the sigil. We'll store another permit. And a craftsman we will not store. Let's go to the next turn. Again, it's only this corner that's struggling. Lazy corner are looking a little bit... Yeah, you know, they're getting lazy again. But now we've got five people joining every time. Ah, Okay, right. Increase in funding. Give us some more money per turn because that's going to be useful. Right, go back into here. Into foreman. Right, another builder. There you go. And a permit. There you go. And some building materials. There we go. Now, how long have we got to do that? Seven more turns. That's absolutely fine. Right, a foreman. We've only got two money. We can't do anything with that. Um, okay, store another sigil. Go to next turn. 
We need the money for a foreman. That's going to be really, really good if we can get that in. If we get another water sort of wagon thing in, that'd be handy. Um, store another one of those sigil things. And have we got a foreman in here? You're lurking around. There we go. Pointy person. Right. In you go. Oh, we can get this done now. Oh, okay. You can now use one more water wagon. So at some point, we will get another water wagon card, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Okay. Right, money goes in, influence creeps up, not as much as it could be. Oh, and now Lazy Corner is sad again. And there it is. There is the water wagon that we so desperately crave. Let's put it down. I mean, do we put it up there, actually? And just let Lazy Corner just suffer a bit. I mean, these guys up here have been waiting for ages. Do you know what? Yeah, let's do that. And then can we take their water cart away and put that down there? So they're good for water now. And Lazy Corner are not great but they're not too far off being sorted. Okay, right, happy with that. Let's move time on. Let's see what's happening. I mean, I'd like to get to turn 100. I don't know when the end of the game is. I'm not entirely sure what the end point is, but yeah, we'll keep going. We'll keep going because I like this. This is good. Right, we need to sort this out. Um, we'll have we'll have a small donation. We'll get ourselves some more money. That's always nice. We'll store a foreman and then, yeah, we need to do this really. Do you know what? Building materials and building materials. I don't really want to do it, but I don't want to get the massive penalty. So there we go. It's done. All, all the sort of <laughs> the books have been cooked and it's all matching and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. OK. Is there anything in here that we don't want? How many of those town sigils do we need? How many of those do we need? I mean, we need some more pipes. Can we have some more pipes? That would be that would be really. Oh, hang on. We could put a sump just there. We've got a point where there is that we could put two sumps in. Oh, hang on. We've got the money for it. Let's just drop a sump in right there. Yay, right. Okay, they're going to be good for water for a little while. That's quite nice. And then we can store the building materials card. Okay, how are things looking, by the way, around here? Oh, the buildings are getting bigger and fancier. Oh, this is all very exciting. That's, that's a nice house. I like that one. That looks nice. That room looks lovely. I'd like that room there, please. Okay, right, back to the view that we need to have it on. Okay, there's only two places that aren't happy. These places are okay, and of course Lazy Corner is very grumpy, as always, but, you know, don't be so lazy. Um, oh my goodness me. Right, 20 money, thank you. That's 10 money, and that's 10 money. That's a huge pile of money we've just earned there. That's quite nice. These two builders are going to have to kind of fall by the wayside, but never mind. Right, so the money pours back in. We've got 93 gold. Uh, can we go over 100 in gold? I've got no idea. Do we get any pipes anymore? Oh, and now all these things come in. Oh, we wanted to get rid of those. Okay, never mind. Um, I think we need to do the building project. What do we want to build now? Warehouse 3? Quarters 3? Or Archive 3? Um, maybe Archive 3. That needs scribes and stuff, doesn't it? We'll get that done because we've got quite a pile of money. Um, right, permit. Go straight in. Town sigil. Plenty of those. And a couple of scribes. Can we do this right now? That would be tremendous. Let's get all this done in one big go. Yeah, okay, boom. Splendid. Okay, so that's the final expansion. So 12 document cards can be stored. Gain access to new donations and gifts. Also, you found an early sketch of a sewage system. <gasps> Don't lose it. It could be useful in the future. Oh, Okay, that's very exciting. Okay, well, let's do the quarters then while we're here. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, town sigil, that goes in. Probably got a permit or two in there. There we go. And foreman and two builders. Okay, we've probably got a builder or two in here. So we'll have a builder. And we've got another builder, lovely. Right, we can't do anything else, but we can store you and you. And we don't care about those because they're a bit rubbish. Okay, so up to 18 monies. And influence is creeping up. Oh, we're getting more red places. Can we have some more things that give us water, please? That would be useful. Generous donation gets us 40 monies. Oh, my word. Yeah, that's from our upgraded archive, is it? Wow. Okay, I mean, that's, that's hit or influence, but that's a load, of, a load of extra money. That's quite welcome. Right. And then foreman into here and we'll finish quarters three. Okay, so we can stop to 12 workers. It's also caused new craftsmen, foremen and builders to arrive. Their cards have been added to the deck. There's also a new interesting book. It looks like a training course. How did it get here? Put it in the archives, will you? Okay, an interesting book. Right, okie dokie. Uh, and then the final one, 
might as well get the warehouse done. Let's just pop that in and let's see what we can do with this. I mean, yeah, we have another sigil, so we'll drop that in and another permit. We'll pop that in. So a foreman, a builder and a scribe. Okay, well, let's pop the scribe in. He can do lots of clever sort of booky things and a builder into there. That's all we can afford. Don't care about that. Right. End this turn. So some money's going to come in. Influence is actually looking a little bit low right now. <laughs> Influence is not looking great. Could do that going up a bit more. And then a foreman. There we go. And now we can't afford to finish that somewhat frustratingly. But because we've got a huge, great big new quarters, we can just store loads of people. Yay, loads of people are stored. Next turn. Oh, we're heading for turn 100. This is huge stuff. Where are these fancy new cards? Where's the sewage system? Oh, not a fire. No. Okay, you. Go and put the fire out. There we go. <laughs> That's not good. A generous gift. That is... What's that? A load of influence from money. Yeah, we don't want that. A training course allows the training of engineers. It requires royal sigils. Do you know what? We'll store it. Absolutely. Uh, right, and this can now be finished. So warehouse three is now done. So we can talk to 12 uh, warehouse resource things, new cards in the deck. The water tower and water pump plans might foreshadow a completely new approach to how the water work will operate. A water tower. Oh, that's going to be hugely important. Oh, can we get that? That'd be really handy. If we could get a new sort of water development by turn 100, that would be really nice because all these cards are being added, but we're not seeing them pop into our sort of hand yet. Although, are they going to the discard pile? So do we need to get through? No. Water pumps and a water tower. Um, okay, do we want to play that? Do you know what? Yeah, go on. We'll play that. Right, water pumps. Sophisticated design of water pumps or a water tower uh, will provide required pressure. Okay, let's go for a water tower then. So what do we need for that? Oh, quite a lot of stuff. But weirdly, no permit. We can build that wherever we like. So a high water tower will be adjacent to the southern line of the city walls. Inside it, there will be pipelines through which water will be pumped to the top of the tower to distribution tank. From here, water will be distributed gravitationally through pipes to municipal water well sumps. Okay, so it's just a kind of a stop-off point for, for further sort of water pressure, I suppose. So we could build it here, and that means that these places over here, the sumps will provide more water. I am imagining that's what that does. Okay. I mean, we need a craftsman, so let's pop one of those in. I imagine we've got the building materials. Just. I think we only just have the building materials. Okay, pop those in. Very nice. And then we need a builder and a foreman. Um, surely we can get that done. So a builder and a foreman, a pointy man. Right, we can't actually finish this off, but next time we will. Okay, end our turn. Oh, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. Can we get a water tower in? That would be great. More sad people. Oh, dear. A sewer layout. Okay, we'll have that. And a drilled well. The technology of the future. Yeah, we'll take that. And then let's get the water tower done. It's difficult to say when exactly the water tower was built in Grujons. Uh, it's on turn 98 or 99, I will tell you. At the earliest possible time must have been at the end of the 15th or the beginning of the 16th century, when the invention of suction piston pumps became widespread in Europe which are the transportation of water up to the top of a tall building. This way, the functions of the waterwork, low one-story building equipped with pumps, and the water tower, a tall building with a tank on top, were clearly separated. The first unambiguous source of evidence indicating the existence of a water tower dates back to 1772. Thank you, history. Okay, so we've not got anything now, but are we going to get a fancy water tower card next time round? Oh, look at the amount of red. Yes. Okay. What do we do with this? A tall building providing water pressure using construction removed from the game. Oh no. It's one of the ones that's just removed from the game. Right, we might need to do some we might need to do some rejigging of rejigging of things. How does that look? If we put that one there, what do we get? One, one, two, three, four, five sad people. That leaves us with one, two, three. And what, what's that? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's still the same. So that makes no difference at all. If we move you over to there. That still doesn't help. That leaves us with five sad people. Go up here. That leaves us... Yeah, this isn't This isn't going well, is it? This isn't fitting nicely at all. Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We've got a sump. We could put a sump just... Oh, no, we can't put a sump just there. There's no pipe. We could put a sump just there, though. Just drop that in, sort them out. But then, do they need a water cart? Do they need a water cart to go around there? Okay. 
we're down to four sad people. Right. Do they need a water cart? Yeah, they do need a water cart, unfortunately. But, hang on. We've got another sump. Can we put a sump just there? Okay. 21 and 15. Take them away and put that, say, there. That turns that green. That turns that green. Right, we can get down to... We can get down to three sad people via the use of some water sumps and then moving around the remaining water cars. Okay, right. Happy with that. Okay, end this turn. In goes all the lovely money. Up tots the influence. In move all the people. Okay. There's another fire. Oh my goodness me. Oh, and there's a castle expansion. Right, okay. Castle expansion. Very interesting. There is a fire blazing and it's bad. So, right, we need to, uh, we need to put the fire out. There it is. Oh, you think you get something sorted. And then there's a fire. How pesky. Okay, what was this? Sorry, castle expansion. I was busy dealing with the fire. Um, we get some stuff for it. Do you know what? Two building materials. In you go. Sorted. Just, just kind of get that out the way. There we go. Right, common donation. Yeah, we'll have a bit of that. And what are we building? We're not building anything. So what can we actually do now? What can we do? Uh, are we waiting for another card to appear or something? I'm not entirely sure what our plan is now. Water tower is removed from the game after using it. So it's got to be deployed in a certain way. Is it in there? Water pumps. We need royal sigils for everything. But I don't know how we go about getting the royal sigils. Um, okay, we'll store the craftsman. We'll skip through to the next turn. Right, water pumps. That's the next thing we're going to have to work on, isn't it? Okay, and then we've got silly gift things, small donation, and another scribe coming in. Okay, what we'll do is we'll leave it for now because I wanted to get to turn 100, so I kind of hadn't noticed that we were already there. So we've crept over to turn 101, but that's okay. That's okay. And things are looking pretty good. Let's turn this off. Things are looking... Oh, look at this. It looks very modern now. Loads of things made out of bricks now. Look at this. This is all very fancy pants. Okay, yeah, I like it. It looks nice. Um, so yeah, turn 101. Town population goes up by five every time. We have finished building 29 things, which is pretty good. Uh, money coming in is quite nice. However, influence is, uh, influence is not looking great. Influence is not looking great at all. Because we have one, two, three, four, five blocks that are not sort of uh, covered sufficiently for water. And yeah, some of them, this is a huge drop. Seven water provided, they require 15. That's uh, that's not great right there. That's quite bad. So we need to sort of look at this. We need to make sure that we try and get more water sorted for this area over here, just to try and stop our influence falling, because it's only going up by plus three, and it's only going to take some more poorly placed new recruits to actually bring that back down a little bit. So, okay, okay, but we'll finish up for now. We'll come back and we will carry on. Now, yes, I don't know when the end is. I'm not entirely sure when the end is in terms of success. I mean, yeah, when you get to minus 100 influence, the game is over because you, you've been fired or whatever. But I don't know when the sort of the successful end is. Is it on turn 150 or turn 200? Yeah, when does it sort of go, well done, you've sorted out the water supply for all the people and now they all love you. Go away and just be happy kind of thing. I do not know. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll come back and we will just keep playing. We'll keep plugging away. I mean, water pumps is the next thing. A sophisticated design of water pumps. That's going to be the next big thing to get into Grujons. But uh, but yes, we'll see if we can do all that kind of stuff next time out. Because we'll finish up for the moment. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are then, please do leave a like. That would be very splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Waterworks. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. Move out of the way, friend. I'm going to completely ignore you and do some comment moderating. <laughs> Kung Fu Croquet. Maria, you've broken my heart. There you go, some more flowers that I stored on the back of my pants. Lovely. There <laughs> we go. As you can see, I'm having the wildest of times. Enormous banana mask. <laughs>